the Lewis structure of calcium oxide has calcium, a metal, from the left side of that periodic table, bonding with oxygen, a non-metal, from the right-hand side of that staircase. Metals and non-metals combine to make ionic compounds because there's a transfer of electrons from one to the other. Calcium is in the second column and brings two valence electrons with it. So I'm going to draw myself the Ca, one, two valence electrons. Oxygen in group 16 brings six valence electrons with it. It's too short of the full eight that it wants. One, two, three, four, five, six. I almost forgot. I'm supposed to spread them out before I double them up. Anyways, calcium's a metal, so it wants to give away its electrons. Oxygen's a non-metal and an electronegative one at that, so it wants to accept electrons. So the calcium gives one of its electrons away to here, pairs up with that unpaired electron, gives its other electron away to the same atom. Now that electron's paired. The final Lewis structure here will show the Ca or calcium ion without its two electrons because it gave them away. There is a plus two charge, and whenever we show a charged particle in a Lewis structure, it gets square brackets, and the charge is written in the top right corner. The oxygen now has eight electrons around it, so draw them all in, and that's two more than it started with. So you gotta put the square brackets with the minus two charge. That's all there is here. This is the complete Lewis structure for calcium oxide in under two minutes. Best of luck.